So we're back here on the Duncan Duo show, and and you know our market and how hot it's been has prompted uh, a lot of new real estate investors, a lot of people that you know maybe own their home and say, you know, instead of selling my home, I'm going to rent it out and buy another. Um, you know, we've, we we know and believe that real estate's a great wealth uh, generating machine for a lot of people. It's it's a great way to make a lot of money. It's a great way to also make consistent, simple money that can change your life. And and so a lot of things scare people uh, in terms of buying rental properties or buying investment properties. And one of those things that scares them is is screening a tenant and and checking a tenant out. Um, you know, to determine if they want to rent a property to them. And, you know, we always encourage people to look at hiring a property manager, um, but I also think there's some good education in learning, doing it on your own the first few times, because it's hard to really hire and, and have expectations for something until you've done it at least a little bit, you know, yourself. Right, because, I mean, there's so much that you have to think about when you're becoming a landlord. Um, you want to make sure that you're doing a full background check, making sure that you're not just checking the state of Florida because we are kind of a destination market. People do move here. You want to make sure that you're checking um, their background, their criminal. Um, I've seen people do their driving records. You know, you're calling on the references. You want to see a paycheck stub, but you want to actually call that employer too because you never know. And we've talked a lot about like the Craigslist scams that we've seen. Make sure if you're a renter, that you're meeting the correct property owner and you're not just giving cash or something like that. You know, do your due diligence too as a renter to make sure that you're not being scammed by someone because we do see that in our market as yeah. well. So the, the, the couple of things that are important, you know, so you, let's say you've made the decision, you found a property, you think it's going to do well, and now you've got a tenant that is ready to apply. And these are all things we can help you with. So if you, if you do look to buy investment property, go to the DuncanDuo.com, you know, give us a call. Our phone number's right there. Um, and, and we'd love to help you and, and decide whether or not you know you do need to hire a property manager. Um, you know we work with Rennet Network, RennetNetwork.com. Uh, they're a company that we refer a lot of uh, property management uh, opportunities to. But let's say you're doing it on your own. You're buying your first rental property. Uh, the, the one challenge, if it's a property you lived in, is you have to separate emotionally from it because if you lived in it, you, you now have to think of it like a bank. Someone else isn't going to take as good a care of it as you did. Correct. And right. we've dealt with that with properties that we've owned. But make Google your friend. So it's amazing how much you can find by Googling someone's name and Especially looking. Especially in the state of Florida. Yeah, and looking five, six, seven pages deep. Now, if they have a really common name, like Joe Smith, you're going to have a really hard time like finding anything. Right. Yeah, like Robert, Robert Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> you know, you're not going to find a lot. But, but so, you know, so you may not find a lot there. Uh, you can also use social media. You know, looking them up on social media. Uh, and again, there are rules and laws, equal housing laws. I'm, I'm not encouraging you to make decisions based on things that are illegal. I'm encouraging you to do your due diligence. Have they been arrested? Are they in jail? You know, do, is there stuff out there? You know, people complaining about that person online. Are they running some sort of scam? Uh, do, are they employed? At, you know, at the place that they say they're employed at. Did their previous landlord sue them for not paying? Exactly. Yeah. So those are those are all things. You know, searching public records in, in Hillsborough County, the clerk's office, uh, the clerk of the court. You can Google Hillsborough County Clerk of Court, Pinellas County Clerk of Court. It's all public record. You can look up and see how many lawsuits they've been involved with, if they've been arrested, if they've been sued civilly. Um, you know, domestic violence, you know, you can look up. So there's a lot of things available to you, um, you know, from a public record standpoint. I think the other one is getting to know the neighbors, um, you know, because they can tip you off. If you, let's say you put an attendant in there. You've, you've had a conversation with a couple of the neighbors. They know you, and then they see something happening at the property. They can they can call you and say, hey, look, they're, it looks like they're putting a meth lab like in your house. You know? Working towards your advantage and your disadvantage. Right. So we've had neighbors call us and Correct. they haven't cut their grass or right. you know, the dog's barking too True. loud. True. It can be because they what that what the neighbor may view as an emergency or something really important may not necessarily be right. an emergency or super important. Uh, be, be the interviewer. You know, Ask them some questions, how they handle repair requests. requests. Um, you know, make sure that they address your concerns. If you have a concern, address it with them. Maybe their credit score is slightly low, or maybe they haven't been on the job that long. You know, but but I think last but not least, go with your gut. You know, trust your instincts. If if you're concerned about the person, uh, you know, nothing's worse than having a bad tenant in a property and having to get them out or having them not pay. You know, so uh, you know, I'd much rather eat a few weeks of rent to find a better tenant than then deal with the consequences of a bad, irresponsible tenant damaging your home or you having to evict them. I did see an article where um, a landlord 
walked a, a tenant that they were considering back to their car and had just a quick glance inside the car because then if you look in their car and they're really messy in the car, it can kind of give you an idea of what they live like too. Right. So I thought it was just a funny article because then if, if they had a really nice car on the inside and they kept it clean, then maybe that's how they live and how they're going to keep your home as right. well. Right, that's actually something that we used to do at our company with hiring agents. We used to walk out to their car and check them out. I don't know that we do that any as much anymore, but fortunately when I look out in the parking lot, I don't see a whole lot of really, really bad... Maybe a car with McDonald's in it. Yeah. Oh, that might be my car. Yeah, yeah Robert, <laughs> in my car because I will tell you I live spotless but not my car so I'm 